Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's Try It Tuesday, we are taking a look at this product by Indeed. It is called the Nano Blur. It claims to use light diffusing technology in order to deliver flawless skin. So this comes in this little tube. It is 30 mils and costs 25 euros. And this product is made up mostly of dimethicone, but it also has a nice healthy dose of glycerin in it. So it's also going to have some hydrating natures to it. But essentially, it's just going to fill in all the gaps as far as I can tell. So it's promising to reduce the appearance of fine lines, which I'm going to try to target these little uh, crow's feet here. It also should minimize the appearance of pores. So basically, it says it's going to give me flawless skin in seconds. Now, this can be used two ways, and I'm only going to be doing in one today because the other one isn't possible. I'm already wearing makeup, but they're saying if you put this on under your makeup, after your moisturizer and SPF, it should just deliver that sort of flawless base on which you place your makeup. Now, I've already got my makeup on. Today, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which I love, but it very much has a dewy finish. Now, I like that dewy finish, but I kind of want to try this out to see if it's going to mattify because I suspect it's going to sort of fill everything in. So where I'm seeing a lot of sort of shine, or I don't want to call it shine, I'm going to call it luminosity because that's what I'm going for, that I suspect we're going to see a lot of that disappear. I don't really have enlarged pores, which I'm lucky for, but there may be some textured skin here that you can see we're going to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this on my finger and I'm going to pat it around and then I'm going to use my beauty blender in order to set it. Now I'm going to do one half of my face because that'll give us an idea whether or not it's doing anything. Okay. Now it doesn't actually tell you how much to use. So I'm going to use a very little amount. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm only going to put this on this side of my face. And I know I have a bit, a little bit of wrinkle. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to put that in. Hmm. <laughs> Can you see any difference? Gary is going like this behind the camera. No. Okay, well I'm going to use a little bit more and see if that makes a difference because it really doesn't say. Now I'm seeing a little bit less shine on this side, in fairness I am, but it's rainy though. So if you're going to deliver me some, some anti-wrinkle action, then I'm going to be very happy. I am definitely seeing a mattifying effect. Do you see that? How that kind of shine is gone? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's what I'm going for, kids. Give a look at my old mirror here. The shine, I do believe, is gone. So, are my wrinkles gone? They're not, are they? Hmm, okay. I'll go around and put some more on the other side now. I saw a gal I follow on Instagram here in Ireland using this. Her name is Sally. She's the Irish beauty fairy. And when she put it on, holy cow, that seemed to really disappear. Sort of the, she had a bit more wrinkles up here in her forehead. It just seemed to vanish. And certainly on camera, you may be seeing something different than I'm seeing. But when I'm looking in the mirror that I have here, I'm not seeing a whole huge difference except almost a powdering effect without it being powdery and that... It's kind of filling in, you're taking away the shine, which, you know, if you come to this channel, you know I'm perpetually chasing the shine. Um, I don't think it does it in a negative, in a bad way. It's just a lot of that luminosity that I buy particular makeups for, it, seem, it seems to be disappearing. But, you know, do I see any filled in crow's feet? That's really why I bought it. Fill in those puppies there. <laughs> I turned 51 yesterday, so I'm seeing those becoming more pronounced with each day. I don't think it did anything to that, do you? Or maybe, did it? <laughs> Gary's trying to scrutinize. Uh, bless him, he's trying. Hmm. Mm, I don't know, guys. I'd be curious to know what you think. Now, I, I had high hopes for this because I saw that it delivered some pretty good results um, on Instagram, but gosh, I don't know. Maybe this is going to look better when we go back and watch the video shortly. Was it worth 25 bucks? Meh, don't know. 
Okay, guys, I'm not really sure. The jury's out on this one. Indeed, Nano Blur. Love the idea. Um, my skin doesn't, you know, it's a little bit tacky, but sure, in general, I don't mind that. I'm a slugger, so I don't mind having something on my face that to me is an occlusive and kind of keeping things in. Um, doesn't feel bad, but somehow it makes me feel like my makeup is worn off. But anyway, it's very early here. My workday hasn't even begun yet, but I don't know. I'm not seeing a difference. What do you think? Anyway, put your comments down below if you have heard of this product, if you have used this product. Um, I'd be very keen to know if maybe I'm using it incorrectly. Um, I'm not really sure. Feels fine. But did it take years off me and did it deliver flawless skin? Let me know down below. So that's it for today's Try It Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you at the next video. Bye.